Limb lengthening involves the process of making new bone. Nonunion occurs when the bone fails to regenerate properly, leaving a gap or incomplete healing. This is one of the most concerning complications of limb lengthening as it directly impacts the success of the surgery and the patient's mobility. The causes of nonunion can be broadly classified into two categories, patient-related factors. These are factors that originate from the patient's own biological or lifestyle characteristics. Key patient-related factors include individual biological differences, some people naturally have stronger bone regeneration, while others have slower healing rates even under identical surgical conditions. Medical conditions. Chronic illnesses such as diabetes, the use of drugs such as steroids, medical history such as history with radiation therapy are proven risk factors that disturb the body's ability to regenerate bone. Smoking. Smoking significantly reduces blood circulation to the bone, impairing healing. Nutrition. Nutritional deficiencies, especially low protein intake and or extreme dieting can weaken the body's ability to produce the collagen necessary for bone formation. Hormones. Hormonal changes due to stress or restrictive eating habits can further slow down bone healing. While patients can optimize their healing through good nutrition, supplements, and rehabilitation, the responsibility of proper bone cutting, fixation, and monitoring falls heavily on the surgeon's expertise. Surgeon-related factors. The skill and technique of the surgeon also play a critical role in determining whether bone healing will proceed normally. Common surgeon-related causes of non-union include during surgery, poor bone preparation, the method used to cut and stabilize the bone affects how well new bone forms. If the bone is cut improperly or fixation is unstable, healing may be compromised. Soft tissue damage. Bone healing depends on good blood circulation around the fracture site. Excessive damage to surrounding blood vessels and soft tissue can reduce blood supply to the bone, delaying healing. Careful preservation of surrounding tissue is crucial for successful bone regeneration. During lengthening. Bone has a natural limit to how fast it can regenerate. If the lengthening speed is too aggressive, the new bone may not form quickly enough to keep up, leading to nonunion. Surgeons must monitor bone formation carefully and adjust the lengthening speed based on x-ray progress. If early signs of nonunion appear, immediate intervention is necessary. The lengthening rate should be slowed or paused and additional treatments should be considered. Even when the same surgeon performs the same procedure using the same technique, some patients naturally produce more new bone while others produce less. This difference is due to host factors. However, the average amount of new bone formation varies between surgeons. This variation is due to surgeon factors. This means that just as host factors influence bone healing, surgeon factors also play a crucial role. The skill, precision, and decision-making of the surgeon can significantly impact the overall success of bone regeneration. Non-union is a real risk, but it can be prevented with the right surgical techniques, careful monitoring, and proper patient care. If you are considering limb lengthening, always ask, if something goes wrong, does this surgeon have a track record of fixing it? With the right approach, bone healing can be successfully managed, ensuring a smooth and safe limb lengthening process.